Hi guys! A little bit of a different angle today because I was trying to figure out how to set my phone up so that you could see um, the, some of the larger items that I'm going to show you but the only thing that works is with me kind of perched in the corner here so I'm sorry if you kind of see my crazy frizzy hair <laughs> but I wanted to show you my Phantom Manor or Haunted Mansion collection because I don't have a whole bunch of stuff but I pick up things here and there over the last couple of years and I've got just about enough to make a little video about it so I decided to share it with you I hope it's not <laughs> too boring <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to show you is my favourite item which is this and this is a beautiful, sorry that's the wrong way, <laughs> a beautiful canvas, well it's actually made of wood but it's a picture that you hang on your wall and it is of the stretch portraits in the haunted mansion in the elevator room and it's like varnished so it's gonna last a long time, I've actually had this a long time already and it's not even slightly fading or chipped anywhere and it's super vivid colours and you can sort of see the lines of the wood, the grain all the way through so this is looks amazing on the wall I got this on Etsy and they do all kinds of Disney themed um, prints on wood and the ink is just so fantastic it's not at all blurry, it's super detailed and you can just basically see how bright and vivid it is. She's my favourite. <laughs> and then you just hang it on your wall with this little piece of string. So it's really, really easy. And then at the bottom it just says, Welcome Foolish Mortals. <laughs> so that's that. Um, the next thing that I was going to show you is my pin badges. So this first one I got the first time I went to Disneyland and that's just the classic Phantom Manor, you can just see the actual building and the second one is the little plaque from the gravestone saying Phantom Manor with all the detailing and I picked this up on my most recent trip to Disneyland Paris so I now have two pin badges Right, this, I believe they're called a crochet hoop, I think that's what it's called, it's basically just um, made by a sewing machine and embroidered patch onto this um, crochet hoop and it's Madame Leota in her crystal ball saying call in the spirits wherever they're at and then on the back you can see how it's all been stitched on. I can't, uh, this was from um, a website but I forget the name of it, I'll try and remember and put it down below. But that looks really good on the wall too because it's so bright. Everything about the Haunted Mansion, you know, the purples and the blues, they're just really nice colours. So that's that. I have the Grim Grinning Ghosts, I believe they're called. I can't remember if this glows in the dark or not, I'm not sure, but it's a hanging ornament and I used to have it hanging from my fireplace, but now I just display it like this because you can see I've put some felt on the bottom there to stop it scratching my shelf. But I bought this in the Disney store, Disney shop before it sadly closed down. I think they've all closed down now apart from it's still going online but I love these guys and I think they were even on sale because it wasn't spooky time of year. <laughs> it's always spooky time of year for me though. Uh, right, next up we have these uh, Disney ears which if you watched one of my recent videos I put uh, all of my Disney ear collection and these are my favourite ones so I don't know if you can see the glitter on this black 
embroidered, not embroidered, it's like ironed on. So you have the stretch wallpaper design, and then you have Welcome Foolish Mortals. And these are from Etsy, again, they're handmade, so they're really, really well made. And they came with either a black or a purple um, sequined bow. And I chose the purple because I just thought it looked cooler. And then they're just plain lilac colour on the back and black for the headband. Uh, I also have this keyring. It's a little bit big to have as an actual keyring, but it has the little clasp where you can attach it to whatever it is. And then we have a little disc which just says The Haunted Mansion and on the back is Madame Leota which is a really nice touch and then the key itself is double sided and it is like a gargoyle type um, creature and the actual um, key is gravestones, headstones they are actually descript- uh, they have like the, the writing on them but I really can't read it because it's so small it's so tiny I just can't get my- I oh, it would help if it was the right way up actually that might help I think one of them is Master Gracie in the middle there one of them says Dearly departed brother Dave he chased a bear into a cave so that's really cool. I think I got this on eBay. It was like one of the first things when I started collecting haunted mansion items and it was way bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was like a bit smaller, but I love it. I kind of want to mount it inside a picture frame to display, but um, at the moment it just lives in a drawer. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. There's two more items um, down here to the side of me. I'm going to try and get them without disturbing you too much, making any noise or hitting the camera, because they're kind of big. So I have a book of Disney Park posters, and it happens to have the beautiful Phantom Manor picture in there. So you've got Discover the Secrets of the Phantom Manor. And the beautiful pink sky going into a kind of purple blue effect and then in the back you've got the phantom with his arms stretching around the house and this is my favorite picture of the phantom Anna because it just depicts it so well it looks so good and then on the other page um, you have the concept art so you've got Phantom Manor poster line artwork from 1990 and you've got Phantom Manor 1991. So these are original designs of what they wanted to put on the poster and then this is the, the actual finished result that they went with. This book's pretty cool, I'll probably go through this on another video, um, the poster art of the Disney parks, but I just wanted to keep it in theme. And last, but by no means least, we have this book, The Haunted Mansion Imagineering a Disney Classic, which I flipped through on my very first video that I uploaded to YouTube. Um, there was just the first thing that I wanted to do to see, to kind of test the waters and see if people enjoyed it. And I won't really flip through it now, but I'll just kind of give you a little taster, but I'll go through it in great depth on my first video. And it's a really good book. It's really interesting. It's a good one to have if you're a fan. So that pretty much sums it up for all of my Haunted Mansion um, collection. I hope that you've enjoyed watching it if you've made it to the end and yeah thank you so much for joining me i'll see you soon <laughs>